Hey everybody, welcome back, Tuesday Mana. I'm excited to get into the word with you guys again, so um, let's get started. And of course, will you join me as we pray? God, we want to thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to be able to hear your word and to share your word. So we do ask God that, that your word would transform us from the inside out and that you would open up our eyes, our ears, and our hearts to receive from you. So we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So last week we talked about Daniel and how he was thankful in the risk, how they made the law saying that you cannot pray to any god. You you know, it has to be towards the king to King Darius. And when they made that decree, Daniel walked right up to his house, opened his window and got down and prayed like he did every day, three times a day looking towards Jerusalem. And it says that as he was praying that he gave thanks to God. He gave thanks in the risk. He was thankful in the risk. And we're going to read now the result of that, of what happens to Daniel, because he was faithful in the risk and thankful in the risk. So Daniel chapter 6, 11 through 18. Then these men came by agreement and found Daniel making petition and plea before his God. Then they came near and said before the king concerning the injunction, O king, did you not sign an injunction that anyone who makes a petition to any god or man within thirty days except to you, O king, shall be cast into the lion's den? So I want to stop right there. Because of your faith, people will try to cause you to fall. It happens every day all around us. You may have experienced that at work. You may have experienced that at school. Just You know, that's the way the world is. People tend to love to kind of poke at us and push our buttons and and even to make us fall when once they realize that we we have faith in the in the true God. So um, has anyone, you know, those of you listening, have you ever deliberately got in trouble or got put in a situation that was bad because of your faith caused by other people? Right. I'm sure from one extent to another that we've all experienced that. Um, also, you know, have you ever been made fun of? Have you ever been bullied, laughed at? Have you ever been an outcast because of your faith? It happens all the time. It really does. And, and so times really haven't changed when it comes to people trying to sabotage our relationship with God and trying to sabotage the will of God. So this world is already, it already has that spirit of, of it's everything against God. And it's antichrist, as the Bible says. So, yes, people will try and make you fall. And again, this is a risky faith, but it's worth it. Okay, jumping back into it. The king answered and said, The thing stands fast according to the law of Medes and the Persians, which cannot be revoked. Then they answered and said before the king, Daniel, who is one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, O king, or the injunction you have signed, but makes his petition three times a day. You see, right there, guys, lies and deception to get their way. You know, that's that's how, still to this day, that's how people try to get God's people to fall, is through lies and deception. That's the way the enemy works. Those are his tactics. Those are his 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 weapons of warfare, so to speak. You know, and again, things really haven't changed. People use those same tactics. The enemy uses the same tactics to this day to get God's people to fall. You know, so the king was upset that his friend was in trouble because they were friends, right? He tried to find a way to get him out of it. He was th- he was in a, he's going to start thinking about it, try to get him out of it. But he was bound by the law, the decree that was signed. Okay, so we're told um, to respect authority in our lives, right? But when that authority goes against God and God's truth, that's where we, as believers in Jesus, draw the line. You know, we don't go against God no matter who tells us, no matter what authority in this world tells us to go against the Lord or to drop our faith. That's where we draw the line. And that's something we all should have in common um, as as believers in Jesus, because those days are coming. They're, they're coming a lot quicker and um and I, my my hope is to equip you guys and to remind you of the stories in the Bible that give us strength during these moments. So, and he labored till the sun went down to rescue him. Then these men came by agreement to the king and said to the king, 
know, O king, that this is a law of the Medes and the Persians, that no injunction or ordinance that the king establishes can be changed. Then the king commanded, and Daniel was brought and cast into the lion's den. The, the king declared to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve continually, deliver you. And a stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet and with the signet of his lords, that nothing might be changed concerning Daniel. So this is a good reminder for us. There's another story in the Bible where a person was put inside of a tomb and a stone laid over the entrance and it was even guarded. And that person is Jesus. And you can see the gospel throughout the Bible. It's just amazing. So the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting. No diversions were brought to him, and sleep fled from him. Then at the break of day, the king arose and went. He cried out in a tone of anguish. The king declared to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to deliver you from the lions? Then Daniel said to the king, O king, live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lions' mouths, and they have not harmed me, because I was found blameless before God, and also before you, O king, and I have done no harm. So Daniel was spared because he was blameless, it says, meaning he had no fault. He did nothing wrong. So, wow, what, what exactly was he blameless for and had no fault in? We're going we're gonna to keep reading. Then the king was exceedingly glad and commanded that Daniel be taken up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no kind of harm was found on him because he had trusted in his God. You see, there it is. It says that no harm was found on him because he trusted in his God. See, we don't become blameless before our God because of how good we are or the things that we don't do um, it, by any work that we can do. He was simply made blameless before God for trusting in God. So trusting in Jesus is what makes us blameless before God. That's it. Nothing we can do, nothing you could change, trusting in God. So it goes on to say how, you know, how the king ended up grabbing these people and throwing them in the lion den after that. And it says that they didn't even make it down before the lions grabbed them and started ripping them to pieces. And he goes on to, you know, God is so glorified in this and and it's just an amazing story. But like I said, can you be thankful in the risk like Daniel? Sometimes it feels like we're thrown in the lion's den. So, you know, Daniel could have been thinking like, man, what was I doing? I was trying to be faithful to God and now I'm, I'm getting the death sentence. Maybe I should have just not prayed. Maybe I should have just followed the decree. He didn't. You know, he he kept his faith and he said, you know what? I'm going to be thankful in the in the risk. My faith is worth the risk. Remember, he made that decision. He knew the risk of being faithful to his God, and he took it. So God saw that he was bl blameless, so God saved him. And remember, he's, he was blameless because he trusted in God. Your faith in Jesus, you are blameless. Your faith in Jesus is worth the risk. Do you believe that? Do you believe that your faith is worth the risk? And not only that, but can you be thankful in the risk, just like Daniel? So this story is a great reminder for me, for you guys, to be thankful in the risk and to realize that our faith is worth the risk. And the way that we become blameless to God is through trusting, right? That's it. We trust in the one who is perfect, the one who is faithful. That's it, guys. So thank you guys for letting me share this story. And it's a reminder to be thankful in the risk. And your faith is worth the risk. God bless you guys.